Alrighty, folks, what is going on? It's Aaron the Hammer Haynes, and if you're watching this video, you probably want to install a new um, ride out supply seat, or you just like a good ride out supply unboxing video. Um, my original plan was to get this seat and uh, install it on my Savage Flyer over there, but they didn't. I just I came up with the idea of taking the uh, orange seat from my SoCal Flyer and putting it on the Savage Flyer, which is um, the older version ride out supply seat. It has the ride out supply um, logo on the back of the seat. The new ride out supply seats that they offer don't have the logo, but it's still reflective. So what I did was I took off the uh, seat from my SoCal Flyer, the green one, um, put it on the Savage Flyer and uh, swapped it. So the green Savage Flyer seat is on the SoCal Flyer seat, uh, SoCal Flyer. And um, yeah, I'm gonna put this one on my D-Blocks Big Ripper, the 2019 one. So I could have gone like a few ways with these, uh, a, few, a few ways with this actually. Um, I could have gotten the uh, black and white ride out supply seat. I could have gone with the uh, black and red ride out supply seat. This is the all black one. But I think the black and white one would have been pretty good. I didn't think about that until I already purchased the seat. So as per usual, let's open a can cold one right here still waiting on that um happy dad death row merchandise hopefully they ship it soon very nice so let's open this up again i'll throw a link in the description on this seat i will i believe it's around 60 bucks or so so again, shout out to Ride at Supply. I've been purchasing purchasing from them time and time again, and um, all of their products are fire. And if you're looking to, if this is your first time and you're looking to um, upgrade parts on your big BMX bike, your big SE bike, look no further than Ride Out Supply. They got everything you need. So let's unbox this right now. This is my second seat from them. I always love the uh, thank you um, notes here. Aaron, thanks for your support. Maddie at Ride Out Supply. So thank you, Maddie and LJ, I think. Or... So let's open this up. File that box to the side. Free keychain, always love that. I still have um, my other keychain on my other um, key set of keys. Oh, nice Red Out Supply sticker, reflective, very nice. This is gonna go on summer, summer special. So let's take a look at the seat itself. Oh, there's even more goodies in this. This is great. Thank you, Red Out Supply. Sweet. Look at these Ride Out Supply stickers. And these are high quality. Oh man, this is great. Got a black here. ROS logo. Alright. Throw away some trash here. Alright. So here's the seat. If you're looking to get a Ride Out Supply seat, if this is your first time ordering from Rattle Supply. This is the high quality accessories you get for your big BMX bike. So nice all over black. This is the, um, the all over black. If it, um, if it was red, it would have the red ROS logo and red right here. And if it was purple and any other color, you get the idea. But this is gonna go on my D Blocks Big Ripper. It's got the uh, bottle opener right there. And yeah, pretty much um, 
Just a really great comfortable seat when you're on those ride outs. This, uh, th I think this is uh, more comfortable than the um, original seat you get on your uh, SE bike. But a very nice comfortable seat. Um, yeah, the, the original seat on the SE bike is pretty damn comfortable for me anyways. But this is, this is a nice quality upgrade. You got a, you got a chromoly railing here, I believe. And it's very sturdy, very well made, um, put together. This backing right here is uh, reflective. The old uh, ride out supply um, seats have the ride out supply um, logo right there. It, it reads out ride out supply. Um, I kind of like that a little bit better, but when it's just nice and clean here and reflective backing, that that looks that looks pretty pretty cool too. And you got the ROS logo here and nice and black. And I've been using the old Rattle Supply uh, seats and only like a little bit of chipping here and there. But then again, I don't. Uh, that seat was on my SoCal Flyer, so I I don't ride that bike every day. If you do ride hardcore every day, yeah, expect to see some like black markings here. Um, the uh, reflective kind of like chipping away. But other than that, great seats, man. Um, see, full chromoly. And yeah, we're gonna install this on my d Block Big Ripper. Um, there's several ways you can install this. Um, you can take the seat post out itself from the bike so uh so it's easier to install or you can raise the seat up and uh install it that way but i think i'm just gonna show you with the seat uh seat post uh off from the off of the bike and we'll start from there so stay tuned so here's my original seat from the d-blocks big ripper if you know that uh, colorway this is what it looks like and here's the long seat post it's a good idea to uh, just kind of like wipe it down here your seat post since since we're already um, changing the seat and then take off your light fixture here would be a good idea Put that to the side and the tools you're gonna need are some allen keys which i will get out right now i don't know the specific numbers but one of the bigger ones just kind of like eyeballing it here Yeah, let's, you're gonna unscrew this and there's gonna be several pieces, so you don't wanna lose them. And we'll put it on time-lapse mode. So I took it apart and uh, there's several pieces to this. If you haven't replaced the seat before, it's not really that tricky. But here are some of the pieces that you will need. So you got the bottom piece, which has the ridges. That's gonna connect here. And you can either, you can adjust it quite a few ways on, on the seat angle. Then you have this piece right here, which, ca which catches on to the uh, railings. And then the top piece right here, which goes on top like that once it's all hooked on together. So this is the one that's going to be inside. This is this is the one that's going to go on top like so.
And then the bottom one with the grooves, with the ridges, right there. And of course, there's the screw here. At this time, I think it's a great idea to kind of like clean the screw here. There we go, you know. You can even put on some some lithium grease. Yeah, some lube on the uh, bolt or the screw here. Just kind of like get it all around. Just so when you screw it in, it's nice and smooth and you don't strip anything. Yeah, just like that. Wipe your hands. Right. Now we're ready to install the new seat. Okay. So you gotta make sure which side is facing correctly. Okay, let me take a look here. So I look at my other bikes as a reference, but this kind of like slanted area right here, that's gonna be facing towards the front of the bike. Right there. So you know how there's a slant right there that faces towards the front of the bike. I mean, you could have it like that, but why would you? And it would still work, but for you to look normal and doing it the correct way, this little groove here is gonna to face towards the front of the bike. So we're gonna stick our bolt back in. We're gonna get the one with the groove here. I mean, either way, doesn't matter which way. It works either way. And it's kind of like, this is pretty tricky here. So, um, we're gonna get our seat and kind of like marry these two pieces together. I don't know if there's an easy way to assemble this. Let me know in the comments below, but. So you just kind of like, have your own little method here. And then this part right here is the one that's gonna hold it all together, the small piece, so. There's indentation markings right here on how much forward you want it or how much back you want it. For me, I like it right in the middle. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. I want it aligned. Yeah, just right in the middle over there. And of course you want it loose enough to, to where you can uh, adjust the angle of the seat, so. For me personally though, I like it, I like the seat angle aligned to the top tube of the bike. I don't do any crazy tricks, I don't, like to hang loose back or anything like that. So most of you wheelie guys, you definitely like your seat tilted towards the, uh, towards you, towards the front of the, um, towards the front of the bike or pointing, pointing downwards, I should say. But for me, I like it. I like it aligned, so. Yep. So you just wanna like tighten it ever so slightly. 
and then put put your seat back on the bike clap it on and um, then you can really tell uh, at what angle you want it so I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna put the seat back on the bike So there you have it. I installed the, the Rattle Supply seat on my D-Blocks Big Ripper. Kind of digging this black look. Nice, nice and clean, nice and sleek. Um, as you can see, it wasn't very too, wasn't too hard to install. There might be some kind of trickiness with the uh, clamping it on together with those three pieces. But other than that, it only took minutes. Uh, compared to the old ride out supply seat here, just says ride out supply on this one, it says nothing, so nice and clean. But yeah, when you're installing the seat, don't forget to um, screw it on tight because you don't want your seat moving anyway while you're on the ride outs. So don't be afraid to tighten this, clamp this thing really down, uh, really tight, and also tighten right here as tight as you can so your seat doesn't move. And yeah, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know what you think about this Rattle Supply seat, if you dig this colorway, if you think this is a great colorway on, on my D-Blocks Big Ripper. Let me know in the comments. I dig it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.